Hey folks, welcome to another video by Stock Trades. My name is Matt, and today we're going to look at an industry that is increasing in popularity, and that is esports. Esports is a high growth industry and one that may not be well understood by traditional investors. So, we're going to take a look at some options for investors here in Canada. There's not many, so keep your expectations in check, but we'll get to those right after this. Before we jump into talking about the stocks that you could invest in to get exposure to the esports industry, I think it's important for us to take a little step back and understand exactly what esports is all about. So in simple terms, esports is competitive and organized video gaming. There are a variety of different leagues and teams which compete in some of the most popular video games in the world. Think games like Fortnite, League of Legends, Call of Duty, Overwatch, and many, many more. While there are competitions in sports games like Madden, it truly defies the notion of traditional sports. Esports includes different titles across different games and across multiple gaming devices. So just how popular is esports? Well, first, it's a billion dollar industry. And according to New Zoo's 2020 Global Esports Report, more than 495 million people have watched worldwide. That's an 11.7% growth over 2019. That pace of growth is also expected to continue and reach 646 million viewers by 2023. Not surprisingly, the pandemic has also accelerated the time spent video gaming, which bodes well for the future of the industry. Perhaps the most interesting aspect is that younger generations are spending more time watching esports than traditional sports. What you see in front of you is quite telling. The younger the generation, the more esports they consume. Considering that traditional sports viewership is in the billions, the runway for esports is quite large, assuming these trends continue. At this point, I see no reason why these trends won't continue as we are experiencing a generational shift. So the question that many investors have is, how can we benefit from this shift? How can we benefit from esports? Well, as mentioned, in Canada, there aren't many options for investors, but there are a few. And the first one and most notable one is Enthusiast Gaming. Enthusiast Gaming is by far the largest esports company on the TSX. In fact, it is one of the largest esports company in North America. It has a global reach and touches more than 300 million gamers on a monthly basis. It is also zeroing in on Gen X and Millennials by creating a unique social network for gamers. According to the company, the video game industry is currently valued at approximately 160 billion and is expected to reach $305 billion by 2025. The company's wheel is a nice visual depiction of how it can own the fan experience. And since the company is not yet profitable, it is best to focus on top line growth when looking at enthusiasts. Fiscal 2020, the company generated $72.96 million in revenue. That's up from $12.29 million in 2019. This topped analyst estimates, which were calling for approximately $68 million in revenue for 2020. The future also looks bright as analysts are expecting fiscal 2020 revenue of 160 million, a 118% increase. Revenue is also expected to reach 238 million by 2023. As of writing, Enthusiast is trading at a reasonable price to sales ratio of approximately 11 times sales. This drops to 5.6 on a forward basis. So for a company that's growing at a triple digit pace, these valuations aren't nearly as crazy as we've seen in some other hot industries. Another catalyst for the company is that enthusiasts recently began trading on the NASDAQ under the same symbol EGLX. So attracting US investors is also going to increase the company's profile. We think that bar none, enthusiasts is the best esports stock to own in Canada. The other two we're going to talk about are a little bit lesser known and carry probably more risk. The first of which being Engine Media Holdings, game on the TSX venture. Engine Media is focused on accelerating new, live, and immersive esports and interactive gaming experiences for consumers. The company is engaged in esports data provision and esports tournament hosting. Its brand profile includes Eden Games, All in Sports, Stream Hatchet, and UMG, among others. It has a four pronged approach to revenue generation that includes direct to consumer and subscription fees, data software and service as a platform products programmatic advertising, and intellectual property license fees. 
Furthermore, it has been an industry consolidator and is much like an asset management company in the esports space, as three companies recently merged to combine and make Engine Media. As a result, the company has been rapidly increasing revenue, and in 2020, it exited the year with 11 million in revenue from continuing operations. That's up by 164% from the 4.2 million it generated in 2019. However, one of the biggest drawbacks with the company is its high debt load. While it has since taken steps to reduce the debt, so most notably in recently paying off 10.7 million of its convertible debt, it still exited the year with 42 million in current liabilities against only 12.1 million in current assets. Given this, access to liquidity could be an issue for the company and it's something that investors should be monitoring. Compounding the issue, the company is burning through considerable cash. In 2020, it posted negative cash from operations of 18 million. It is a trend that is continuing through the early part of 2021. Thus far, it looks like the company is raising capital through private placements and various share offerings to improve liquidity. While this is okay as a short-term solution, it's not a long-term strategy. It's likely why the company has been unable to break out over the year and the company's share price is relatively flat. Until the company can resolve its liquidity issues and reduce cash burn, it will be faced with this continuous need to raise cash. So while this is typical of an early stage company, it is something that is not sustainable over the long term. So we're gonna have to pay attention here. This is one of the most volatile of the companies and to us it's probably one of the most risky because of the company's high cash burn and considerable share dilution. Quarter over quarter, it actually doubled the amount of shares. So even though it has a low float, it still has a long runway to continue issuing shares. So we could see the company's shares double over the next year, if you will. So it's something to be mindful of. And it's one of the reasons why we think Engine Meetings Holdings share price has pretty much done nothing over the past year. The final stock on our list is one that we are going to shift gears a little bit. It's not technically an esports company, but it has significant exposure to the esports industry. And that is the Real Luck Group. Luck on the TSX Venture. Before I jump into Real Luck, I did want to point out that this is a company that I am long. I bought it a couple of months ago, so I'm underwater quite significantly actually, but it's a company that I believe in. It's actually a bet on the esports industry and the betting industry. Uh, and this is why I own it. It's not something I recommend for the defensive investor. It is only for those that have a high risk profile and for those who want an aggressive position in our portfolio. I have a very small position, doesn't make up. I think it's less than 1% of my portfolio, so it's not gonna make or break me, but I didn't wanna disclose that ahead of time before I jump into this company. So Real Luck is a betting company that offers legal, real money betting, live streams, and statistics on all major esports tournaments. While there are other companies in the space, the reason why I'm highlighting Real Luck is it is because it is the most exposed to the esports industry. Between 2017 and 2020, it's estimated that esports betting grew at a compound annual growth rate of 44% and topped 18 billion in 2020. Led by Generation X, Y, and Z, esports betting is booming. The company's Luckbox platform is live in more than 80 countries, available in multiple languages, and 80% of its users are in the 18 to 35 age range. Luck is licensed in the Isle of Man for business to consumer and business to business esports betting, which provides it with a competitive advantage. In short, it is a mid-range license that takes between one to two years to set up and is for the most part in good standing with most global financial institutions. Having the right license is key to success in this industry and luck is well positioned. Here's a nice snapshot of the real luck group and how it stacks up against competition. As you'll notice, it has a 99% esports match coverage. That's tops in the industry. So in other words, if you're looking to bet on esports, Luckbox is the most likely to have the match available. While there are publicly traded companies in the esports betting industry, Luck is the leading esports betting platform, which is why it made our list over some of the others. Notably, a company like Fans, which trades on the Canadian Securities Exchange. It's also important to note that companies trading on the Canadian Securities Exchange have actually fewer regulatory requirements than those trading on the TSX. So we like companies that trade on the TSX Venture over companies that trade on the CSE. It's also worth noting that Luck only began trading on the TSX Venture in late December. So it has yet to release its first set of quarterly results as a publicly traded company. This adds yet another level of risk to the company evident by the fact that it has lost more than 50% of its value since February highs. Of the three that we talked about today, luck is likely to be the most volatile. Remember, this is a newly listed company, 
So its performance will be judged against market expectations. How it performs will tell the tale of how luck does moving forward. Overall, the esports betting industry is very much in its infancy. The majority of big gaming companies are either trading south of the border or in somewhere on the Asian markets. Of the three we talked about today, Enthusiast Gaming is by far the more established, which means it's probably going to be the safest of the bunch. Engine Media is one that seems to be growing at a pretty fast clip, but it's doing so via considerable dilution and it's taking on more debt. So it's a company that, you know, we're not quite sure where it's going to land. It has potential, but it's going to have to tone down share dilution if the share price is going to match growth rates. Finally, we have the Real Luck Group, which is a completely different segment, sports betting, I think it's well positioned to lead the pack. Uh, once again, however, this is a very, very new company and it's going to be highly volatile. You know, I'm still holding on to it, even though I'm sitting on a loss. You know, when I invest in companies, typically I do so over the long term. This is one that I have more of a short term eye on, but I have no problem holding this for the next one to three years and see how this all plays out. Once again, it doesn't account for a high percentage of my portfolio, so even if it doesn't pan out, I'm not all that worried. So please let us know in the, in the comments below which of these stocks are you invested in, which do you like most? Are there other ones that we should be considering? Uh, perhaps even those south of the border. Which ones are you looking at to invest in today to get exposure to the esports industry? Hope you liked the video. As always, please subscribe to our channel and like our video for more great Canadian content. Until next time.